And your department has a role in the larger community beyond the university. Can you speak up um, for a moment to that issue? Yeah, um, I tell you, uh, whenever you consider the total budget uh, for our department, it's approaching almost $90 million. And uh, the support that we get from the university comes out to around 3%. That means that it's up to, uh, up to us to, to f um, fund 97% or whatever our requirements are. And we can only do that through strong relationships uh, in the community. And I tell you, if there's anything that, that is, uh, uh, you know, very apparent of the chairman of this uh, department is that they understand that importance. Uh, and they understand what it means to have great partners like Cosair Charities, uh, the, the Children's Hospital, um, many different contracts throughout the, uh, the, the city. Uh, and state that go to, to, to actually um, uh, allow us to be able to do what we do and fulfill our mission of serving the, the needs of children. The, uh, the importance of relationships can't be underestimated. Uh, relationships are key because not only do we have to provide significant funding just to make the, make the machine go, but our, our, our ability to serve children uh, is not an isolated silo that we live in. Uh, not only the Children's Hospital are their obvious partners, but really we have partnerships throughout the state uh, with hospitals where we deliver satellite clinic services or telemedicine services or, or neonatal intensive care. And so we are here to establish as many connections as we can throughout the city, throughout the state, with a variety of organizations, whether they're hospitals or clinics or philanthropic organizations, because we can't have too many friends and alliances. Uh, our job is to make those uh, connections, maintain them, nurture them, and make sure those relationships go well. And, and that's, that's one thing that is key for this woman to keep track of, because it's not only the internal relationships within the university, but people call into this office wanting to ask a question, follow up on something, or, or report something didn't go well. And, and it's, it's how you respond to those concerns that cement that relationship and make it even tighter. And so Ruby play, plays a key role as the in, really the input where all internal and external communication usually shows up because nobody has my number. They've got her number. <laughs> and, and when they call, they get her. And I'll tell you, John, there are people who much rather talk to her than talk to me. And they get their problem solved by her. And that, it never gets to me because she knows the answer already. She knows what we're working on. She knows the check is in the mail, she knows that I'm aware of it and that I'm working on it and she can reassure people of that. So the, the role that Ruby plays is a, like a safety net underneath the chairman's office to assure, and I, I would just modify what Gary said, it's not so much making me look good, it's making the department look good. I just happen to be the face of the department at this time. And that's what these guys do so well is they work hard to make the department look good because it is good, but they work hard to make sure that reputation stays in place by continuing to be responsive and to serve well. And, and ultimately to fulfill the, uh, the mission of the university. Uh, whenever you consider um, uh, the, the work that, that President Ramsey does uh, in, in going out in, into the state, uh, this university just doesn't serve the city. It serves the region and the state. And if we have this department look good, well, then ultimately, it, it'll make President Ramsey look good. It'll make the University of Louisville look good. So you're very much a part of the larger vision of service to the community, to the state as well. 